Hi guys, this is Image Again. Welcome to Team Pandori. Today we're going to have a giveaway. Information on how to enter is towards the end of the video. But let's get cracking. We got a box. Where's this box from? The chines. Let's poke it open. Poke. Wow. So inside the box we have something that looks like a plastic sushi. Full of bubble wrap. And inside all of this, more cardboard boxes. The company behind Banana Pie decided to send me a sample unit. And of course, I'd love to check these and see how they compare against the competition. We have two boxes. The first is for the board itself and the second for the acrylic case. The board is the M2 Pro, which is new for 2011. And to be honest, I'm very excited to use one of these considering I've never used a Banana Pie unit. Let's get it out. Snip, snip. At first glance, it's very small. Cute. It doesn't come in a case. Overall, it looks fairly tidy. Micro USB. IR sensor. For the DC in. HDMI. LAN. Two USB 3 sockets. Pins on the top. And a micro SD reader. Over here we have a case for it. I believe this fits a few other banana pie boards. Yeah, comes like this. Very Swedish. Got a thing for blondes. As long as they have instructions. A photograph or a quick start guide would be very handy. For the size comparison today, we will use a banana. This board is half a banana long. It's roughly the same area as a Pi 4. Or if we add a Super Console X to the mix, it's the same size as a hand of bananas. Loved Lego as a kid. Let's see if I can stick this case together. So these dots will be where we screw this in, I guess. For the construction of this, I'm going to speed up the video. Enjoy! Perfect. Ish. If you look closely, the logo is a bit off and there is no room for a fan. Let's go to the rice fields and check some specs. The Banana Pie BPI M2 Pro. 905X3, over 2 GHz according to the website. And other than that, it's very similar to other 905X3 systems we've had on the channel. I assume that the DC input would be the same as the HK1 box. So I got the adapter, which fits fine here. No, 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 sorry, the hole's too small. We had to get another DC adapter off Amazon. And here's the one I got. I mean, this box here. I got this for about 13 bucks. Wasn't sure of the size I needed. This one comes with multiple plugs and it's a 5 volt 3 amp. Once we find the plug that fits, we can actually get to testing. At last. Well, so I thought. The thing about this board is it comes with no system installed. So I need to check out the website for a download and there is none. The M2 Pro Wiki links me to the M5 starting guide. Uh, this is annoying. This is so annoying. Okay, so let's let's try following this guide. 
So first we're supposed to install the USB burning tool and then download the latest Android image. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, so I've got the USB burning tool installed. And then it says, uh, plugin type C USB cable. Okay, so our banana has no USB-C port, so I'm gonna stick in the USB here and the USB-C into my computer. Nothing. All right, okay, so we've got the mini USB port. Okay, I'm gonna try that into the computer. Nothing. So after writing an angry email slash forum post, I get an answer from August. And he mentions that the micro USB on board should work. I'll change this. Connect success. So it's very cable dependent. After that, we burnt the Android 9 image. And at last we can test the unit. It's around 12 gigabytes free. This is of the internal memory. And we can check IDA for some specs. 1.9 gigahertz CPU. And without heat sinks, it's around 53 degrees idle. Here's Antutu for benchmarks. And with the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, I can't really test because there's no aerial included. And for a little Android emulation, we're running PPSSPP, a double resolution, Vulkan renderer at fairly low settings. It's not the best. So if we pull the core ELEC DTB file, we can actually get emuelic working here. We're running 4.3 test. Let's see how well this board can play some games. Here we go. Lost at sea for days now. I have no crew or navigational instruments. No provisions except a half-eaten corn dog, and unless I find water soon, I'm surely done for. Only the hope of finding my love, Elaine, keeps me going. <laughs> Amiga! Ami amiga! Samba! Um, amiga! Amiga!
It's time for some pros and cons. Okay, so it's silent, tiny, works with MULEC, and customizable. On the flip side, it's very expensive versus competition. No instructions at all. I mean, you need to find your own power adapter, a Wi-Fi antenna, and even operating system. It's just way too much faff for the average user. So for the giveaway, we will give this banana pie board and case with heat sinks, Android 9 pre-installed with a Pandori tea bag for one lucky um, enter person. All you need to do is follow the Gleam link down below, enter and answer the question, what will you do with a banana pie? Sounds yummy. Winner will be announced on the 1st of September 2021. So back to the conclusion. We cannot recommend the Banana Pi M2 Pro. It's not beginner friendly. No instructions. And if you add the case, the power supply, Wi-Fi antenna, you're looking at way above $100. There are great alternatives out there. I mean, the HK1 MUB, less than half the price or even a fully loaded X96 Max for just above that. Before we go, I just want to give a quick thank you to all the guys backing us on our Patreon. It really does mean a lot to us. As well as keeping us motivated, all donations feed directly back into the Team Pandori project. Thank you. Anyway, this has been Imi Chicken from Team Pandori, and I'll catch you on the flips. Bye!